Okay, Harvey, you just passed your driving test. Congratulations again. Can you tell us what happened during the test? What questions did the driving examiner ask you at the beginning of the test? Okay, thanks, Omid. So the driving examiner asked me to uh, two car controls. The first one is the high beam, and the other one was the hazard lights. Perfect. And uh, did you finish the whole half an hour of the, the test? Did you yes. go for half an hour? Yes. Uh, did you go to highway? Your test was at 110. Did you go to highway? No, we didn't go to the highways. Did you go to roundabout? Yes, twice. So the examiner first told me to do a reversing exercise. So we did a reversing exercise to the locations where we always practice. So uh, it's a good point. And another one was a uh, five point turn or in the uh, examiner sheet, it's called turnaround. So the examiner took me to a very narrow space and then she told me I could turn around the car. Oh, I could do it like a three-point turn if I can or five-point turn. Great. Okay. So the road was very narrow and instead of a three-point turn, you did a five-point turn and still the examiner was okay with that, right? Yes. I did not make any uh, mistakes with any of the maneuvers. Yes. Great. Perfect. Were you nervous during the test? At first I was nervous and then uh, when I started driving so I started to feel confident and comfortable and I just went through the driving test and then at the snap of the finger it's done. Beautiful and uh, yeah every student usually say that when they come back they say everyone pretty much they say that it went very quick. Yes. And how was the examiner? Were you happy with the examiner instructions? Yes. Uh, my examiner's instructions were very clear and she's very nice and uh, calm and laid back. So uh, that helped me during my test as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, so you are from the Philippines, uh, Harvey. What do you think? What are the challenges that Filipinos face in terms of driving when they drive in Australia? So the first, I guess, was the major setback when you drive here in Australia is the driving on the other side. Because in Australia, we drive here on the left side and on, in the Philippines and I guess most of the countries around the world, they drive on the op opposite side. So that's a major adjustment when you want to drive here in Australia. Mm -hmm. And how did you cope with that? How did you handle to uh, get used to driving on the opposite side? So first I took a driving lesson and then uh, I need to familiarize myself that in Australia they always keep left not keep right mm -hmm. so that's one you should uh, remember okay exactly so you have I assume you have this keep right sign a lot everywhere in the Philippines yeah yes yes okay great and what recommendations do you have for the students who go for the driving test so uh, I have three uh, so, uh, advices for students who want to go for the driving tests First is uh, familiarize yourself with the theory. What I mean by the theory is that you need to familiarize, not just familiarize, understand what road signs and uh, rules here in Australia. So, and second, if you understand the theories here in Australia, the second one is you need to practice it. So theory is not just as good as uh, it is so you need to practice what you learn so you do that by taking lessons and driving and of course you should have someone with you with uh, good and professional experience when it comes to uh, driving here in Australia and my last advice is if you know the theory and you practice really well and third is when you take the test be confident uh, be calm it's okay to be nervous but remember uh, presence of mind when you take the exam you you must be confident because you studied you practice so you must put some confidence in yourself that you could pass the exam yeah that's my advices great thank you very much great advices i am sure this is going to be very helpful for the learners who are going for the driving test thank you very much uh, harvey uh, dr harvey <laughs> and once again congratulations thank you. pleasure working with you and meeting you thank you thank you